this video, we will see about the asset properties. But before that, let's understand the problem. The data in our database needs to remain accurate. And that means we need to be very careful about how do we save or update information in the database. If we are simply adding or removing a book from the book table, then it is pretty straightforward operation. One record is added to the book table or one record is deleted from the book table. But in more complex scenario, when multiple operations are executing one by one, such as transferring money from one account to another where more than one operation is executing. Then in that case, we need to be more strict about how the data change impact the database. So I hope the problem statement is clear for you. First, let's see what are asset properties in the database. Asset is a set of properties of database transactions intended to guarantee data validity despite errors, power failures or any other reasons. In the context of databases, a sequence of database operations that satisfies the asset properties are called transaction. For example, a transfer of money from one bank account to another even involving multiple changes such as check the balance of the debited account, update balance once the amount is debited, check the balance of the credited account, update balance once the amount is credited because there are a series of operations so our latest system can process all the operations very quickly but internally it is doing multiple operations so it might be interrupted by some other process like power failure or loss of internet connection during the execution here i can give you a real time example like in google pay sometimes transaction takes a long time or at the end it failed or money debited from your account but if it cannot complete the payment then they credited back to your account. To protect against this kind of error, we use the transaction as I said earlier. A transaction is a sequence of database operations that must all be completed. And if for some reason any of the database operations is not completed or failed, then no changes are made to the database. Any operation that is partially done, then the transaction must be rolled back. Now let's see what does ACID stands for. ACID is the acronym of Atomicity, Consistency, Isolation and Durability. Atomicity All changes to the database must be performed successfully or not at all. So if any of the operations failed, then it must roll back the entire transaction. Consistency Data must be in the consistent state before and after the transaction. So if the transaction is successfully completed, then for sender and receiver, database changes must be consistent. Or if the transaction is failed, then roll back the transaction and revert the changes. Isolation. No other processes can change the data while the transaction is running. During the execution of one transaction, if the user tries to start another transaction, then it must wait until the first one finishes completely. Durability The changes made by a transaction must be persist or stored or written in the database. No matter transaction is a success or failure, in the end it must be written in the database. I hope now you can understand what are the asset properties and why are they required. I hope you like this video. Then please do the needful things like comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.